What is going on you guys? I'm back with another video. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much to me. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers. We are so, 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 so close. And once we hit 500 subscribers, I will be giving $100 away to one of you guys. Um, whoever comments down below, DM me on Instagram. I will just pick one random person and send it to y'all. Um, guys, I know I haven't been here in a while i know y'all are probably not shocked because who is shocked honestly but i actually have a legitimate excuse this time so basically i have been filming all the videos that you guys are going to be watching for the next few weeks are all pre-recorded okay i'm not home i'm not in new york right now i've been trying to upload youtube videos but the problem is that the wi-fi will not allow that to happen so i'm going to be trying to go somewhere like to a public um like library or something bring my computer trying to get all these videos up on youtube and scheduled so like i'll upload five videos right and schedule them all so they can get out to you guys maybe one maybe three videos i'm gonna try to post every other day honestly but like i said it is kind of hard with this wi-fi situation um but that's what i am be doing for you guys. At the end of each week, I'm going to be going to the library for however long it takes me to upload so that you guys can get this content out there. Um, so all these videos, like I said, are pre-recorded. I don't know how far back in the past these videos are going to be when you guys see them. But they are not filmed like the day before. They're not filmed or anything like that. So that's what's been up with the YouTube videos. I have been filming, like I said. Just haven't been able to upload them. Finally figured out some. Guys. We are going to be talking about some crazy, it's not really like, like, it's messed up. This shit is messed up, and I'm still pissed about it. It happened a little while ago. So basically, guys, I nearly got scammed out of a lot, um, a good amount of money. So let me start off by telling you guys, I've been wanting a French Bulldog. I'm sure if y'all have seen it, you probably want one too. A French Bulldog for years now. I've been, want, I've been in love with French Bulldogs for years. Um, I've been wanting one never like I never seen one like in person just based off pictures like I literally was like obsessed with these dogs um, So like I said, I'm not in New York, right? So I went somewhere with um, Geraldine's daughter cuz She likes um, puppies and stuff, right? So me Geraldine and her daughter go into this um, Pet store, right? And I look at Geraldine because we've talked about French Bulldogs before because she likes them too. So I look at her, I'm like, yo, like, they live, like, there's one right, like, right there. So we asked, like, to, um, to, because they have, like, pens where you could, like, go in, right? If y'all been to a pet store, you probably know how it works. Like, you go into a thing, you play with the dog, whatever. So the French Bulldog, of course, is expensive. Like, if you guys know, French Bulldogs go for a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Um, um, because of how they're bred and things like that. So that that dog was on a serious buyers list only. And we were obviously not looking to buy the dog. Um, so I I have I didn't lie. Like I was just like, oh no, like we're not gonna take the dog. Cause then bro, if I would have said yes, right, they would have probably been on our asses the whole time, and we're just trying to like play with the dog, whatever. So we said no. Where we were playing with like um, some other puppies. I'm gonna insert a picture of the French Bulldog we were playing with right here. We were walking out and I told uh, Geraldine, I was like, yo, look, we should just ask like, like how much the dog is. Like, I want, like, I want it. Like, I don't care. Like, if I go back to New York, I'm gonna take the dog. Like, I want that dog. And guys, like just seeing it, like was so different. Like it's, like I looked at that dog part, how people look at their like first child, like, that dog, like, I instantly fell in love with that dog. So, I was like, yo, go ask how much the dog is. So, after we got, because we already had gotten, like, they wouldn't let us play with the dog the first time. Because, like I said, it was on the series buyers list. So, this other girl, she was mad nice. She actually was like, do you guys want to, like, play with it or whatever? So, we are like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So, we got the dog out, bruh. Let me tell you. Everything about this dog, like, as a little girl, I had it, like, had a name picked out already, like, everything, bro. I was so set on this dog, and we were, like, we were with it for, like, a good amount of time. Um, so we were with it for a good amount of time. Um, so I, the lady comes over, and I was like, yo, like, just tell me, like, how much is this dog? 
So I was like to Jared, I'm like, yo, like watch, they're gonna come back and say like eight thousand. And I thought eight thousand was a reach, right? I thought eight thousand was a reach because I know like dogs, those dogs that you said, like, like I've seen them for like four thousand, five thousand. I was like, watch, this one's gonna be eight thousand dollars. And I was like, if it's eight thousand dollars, like I'm uh, like I don't, I can't buy a dog for eight thousand dollars. Like who am I? So. We we're playing with this. She comes back. She starts talking to us about like all the stuff that's included with the dog. Which honestly, honestly, like if you have that money to spend on that dog, everything that came like with it was worth it. Like I'm not gonna complain. Like I think that was a pretty with everything that came with it. It was pretty fair. Like the price. It was just I wasn't about to spend how much they wanted for this dog. So basically, it got to the end, and she tells me that the dog is eleven thousand dollars. And I was like, oh, yo, like I just looked at uh, Jerry Lynn and I was like, 11. So the lady walks away, like we're talking about it. And there's like different like plans and shit. Like you could put it on a credit card and like, like set up a credit card with them and then like pay off the dog. But like who wants to go into $11,000 of debt? Like when I could honestly go get a French Bulldog for $5,000 in New York and like, or $4,000 in New York and just call it a day. So, I honestly thought about it though. I'm a very impulsive person. Like, and so is Gerilyn. Like, we don't have the balance of the person who says no. So, we were literally about to walk out with an $11,000 dog. Like, I was, like, convinced on buying it. Like, I was like, fuck it. Like, let's just do it. So, we are about to do it. And then we really, really, really thought about it. And it was just a stupid financial decision. Not because, like, bro, look at this dog. Like, look at this dog. It was so cute. It was a girl. Um... We just decided not to take the dog. So anyways, we decided not to take the dog. And then I kept thinking about the dog. I don't know if Gerilyn did, but I could not stop thinking about this dog. Like, I don't know. That dog was in my mind, like, as if, like I said, that was my firstborn child, okay? So I text, the lady gave me her number. So I texted her, like, two days later. I was like, yo, do you still have the dog? Because I was like, fuck it. Like, fuck it. Like, I can't stop thinking about the dog. I'm not going to stop thinking about the dog. Like, I need to go get it. She stopped the dog, and Gerilyn convinced me not to, so I didn't. Um, but then, obviously, like, we both did want a French Bulldog, so we Googled it. Like, we were Googling French Bulldogs, like, breeders, um, stuff like that, and we found one for, like, a pretty reasonable price. Um, I won't get into it too much detail about that one, but here's where the craziness comes in. So, I have all the screenshots. So we are on like a website, right? For French Bulldogs. So guys, this is the one I'm looking at right now. Um, it's a blue French Bulldog. Um, I'm in contact with the seller as we speak, actually. Uh, so this is him. Let's, oh, I forgot I'm not on the website. But yeah, this is him. And I'm hoping to cop this one. He's mad cute. Look at the little face. And there's one guy, and I told Gerilyn to message him because she's the one who found it, right? So I was like, so message him, whatever for me. Because like I said, guys, if I was going back to New York, like, I was taking the dog. So I knew this was going to be, like, a big responsibility. I needed all the facts. I needed, like, everything, like, up front. So she hits up the guy, right? And she says, like... Well, I called, actually. I called and left a voicemail about the dog. And he texts Gerilyn. And he was like, hey, this is regarding the... And he gives, like, the wrong... Off the bat, like, I should have known this was sketchy. He gives the wrong, like, dog breed. He was like, he was like regarding the... um. I have it right here. He was like, regarding the Maltipo puppies. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. And I text... She sent that to me, and I was like, what? Like we're not looking for those and then she was like i was interested in the french dog and he goes oh you want the name was colby the french uh the blue french bulldog which blue french do bulldogs are rare guys so those are a lot of money and the price was like like for this dog the price was low for what it usually goes for so that was already sus right and then they were willing to negotiate the price even more so so we asked like oh so how much like lower and this guy went like 
$500 lower. And the dog needed to be shipped, okay? This dog was allegedly in North Carolina. The dog alleged needed to be shipped, okay, and was still giving it to us for $500 lower than what I asked for, okay, and it came with, like, all these health documents, like, where everything was up to standard, all the shots, all the, it was chipped, like, everything, so I was a little, I was sus about the price, right? I was like, nah, like this just seems like way too good, like way too good to be true. Um, like obviously I want the dog real, real bad, um, but it just like seemed too good to be true, right? So we asked for more pictures of the, and I'm gonna put the screen, I'll probably put the screenshots right here, guys, because I have the conversation right in front of me. So we asked for more pictures of the dogs, right? He tells us, he tells us, He's not the one selling the dog. He's selling it for someone else. So that was another thing that was sus. Because I was like, why would, like, like, that makes no sense. Why would you be selling someone else's dog? I mean, maybe that's a thing, but I don't think so. Like, you would probably sell your own dog, right? I, I just, I don't know. So, he says, he, the owner asked us to advertise for him. He says, I will ask him to send pictures. So, I don't even have the real owner's number we don't have anything just waiting for these pictures right he takes so long to send us pictures like he we asked him like at night and he didn't get back to us till the next day like way later the next day and i just think that's weird if it's your dog if you have the dog in your possession i know this guy allegedly didn't have the dog but the other guy like wouldn't you just wake up and snap some pics of the like if the dog is with you, bro, like, you could just take pictures of the dog real quick. And these were the pictures that were sent, guys. They look, like, the only thing that had me, like, a little convinced that it might be real was, look at these three pictures. These three pictures. He has the same outfit on. So, like, in my head, I'm like, how would you get, like, a random dog with the same out? Like, if you're Googling, looking for pictures of a French bulldog... I doubt you're going to find three in the exact same outfit. Like, so that was the only thing that I was like, mm, okay. But these pictures that were sent, looks like this dog is an Instagram model, okay? This dog literally looks like he could be an Instagram model. How, like, and looks so, like, happy and, like, like, is in a loving home. So why would you be selling this dog? Like, you look, like, from these pictures, it just looks like they love that dog. Those are pictures I would take if I had a dog that I loved. Like, like, they just look like such, like I said, like, Instagram model pictures. Like, someone is showing their dog off. Like, it just doesn't look like someone who's selling their dog. He wanted, um, we we're like, we want the dog. Because we were just honestly, like, we knew, like, this was, like, sauce. But we were just, like, entertaining it at this point. Because we just wanted to, like, see, right? They did offer us to go pick it up. But, like, like now thinking about it, like, what would have happened if we went there? Like, because obviously this guy did not have this dog. So, what happened is he wanted a payment, right? He wanted a payment of $500. Like, as a deposit. No, 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 I'm sorry. Like, $700 as a, like, down payment. And then when we got the dog, we give him the rest, right? Basically, he wanted money, right? So, I added this guy on Zelle, okay? And that's another thing. If anyone, guys, tries to sell you anything, businesses don't use Zelle. It's not secure, and you will not get your money back. There's no guarantee, nothing. They will never use Zelle. Use PayPal, Venmo. This guy wanted Zelle specifically, okay? So, I went to add him just to see, right? And it literally says this. It says, for your protection, we are unable to send this Zelle payment. So, I called my bank to see what that meant, right? And they told me he was tagged. And that there's a huge puppy scam. Blah, blah, blah. So, Geraldine is like, I'm going to tell him like that. I was like, no, 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 don't do that. Because, first of all, you don't know people, bro. You don't know how crazy they are. And what if, like, they come kill us if they think if they think we know something about they're doing is illegal and that we're reporting them, bro. Like, no, 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 no. So, anyways, I was like, let's just see something, right? So, we go, can we FaceTime? First of all, none of them have... You can afford a French Bulldog, but you don't have an iPhone. You're telling me you breed French Bulldogs, but don't have an iPhone. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone without an iPhone... 
everyone has an iPhone, bro. How do you, both of you, you and the real owner, we asked for the real owner's number. He was like, like, it was like weird. Like, it was very, very sus. He's like, did you call him? Did you call him? Um, the guy says, we asked the guy, can you face, can you video call us? Like, whatever. Can you video call us um, and show us the dog? We want to see the dog. And he was like, I'm not able to today because I'm doing charity work at the COVID relief center. Like, oh, come on, bro. You're so full of shit. You are so full of shit. All of a sudden, you are some life-saving mirror. Like, like, shut up. Just shut up. You don't have the dog. So we go, okay. When you, fa like, when you video chat us the dog, we'll send you the money. He goes, okay, well, I can't promise the dog will still be here. First of all, the dog had been up on this page for a while. You're telling me that someone with, when the day I decide I want it, someone's going to buy that. He's like, we can't hold the dog for you. If someone else sends the payment, we're going to give them the dog. We're like, okay, they never called us again. Never tried saying, hey, like we can talk. You're telling me you don't have five minutes. You, know, you don't go home for five minutes and can't send a video or video chat the dog real quick. All we want to see was the dog was legit, right? Never heard from them again, nothing. I'm so glad, y'all, I did not send any money to these people. I'm like super upset, cause like I can't, I just can't believe there's people in this world that scam people like that. I can't believe there's people in this world that actually like want to take from people like, who are clearly like, like we're, I'm trying to find a dog, yo. Like a little like friend for life, bro. Like, like I want a dog. I want that dog. That dog specifically, so bad. And we were so excited, and like I was even ready to already go buy all of its stuff for when it got here, and all that. And it just was a scam, bro. Cause you're not even telling me, hey, like I have a chance now. Like that was sus. So, lesson be learned, y'all. Do not, do not, do not send money to people through Zelle, first of all, unless they're your family and friends. That's what the bank told me. Businesses never really use Zelle. They use PayPal, things secured, money sending um, companies. And especially if you're buying a puppy, apparently that's a huge scam when they ask through Zelle for a puppy. Um, again, that's what the bank told me. Any of you guys do know an, a legit French Bulldog Breeder, please DM me. My Instagram will be down below. DM me on Twitter, Instagram, wherever the hell you want. You can even comment it down below. Please let me know, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Much, much, much more videos coming to you guys very, very soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500 subs. Peace. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right